Boston designed to help you... The Chief of Naval Operations took to the airwaves in December to deliver his message. I am through with this permissive attitude that has allowed many of you to abuse the system. This get tough policy is going to be transmitted again and again down through the chain of command until every one of you feels it in your bones. Admiral Hayward himself was aboard the Nimitz the first day it was in the port of Naples to make sure that sailors understood his no-nonsense policy, and apparently they do. The Navy's pushing really hard. They uh, have a, what, what I understand are coming out with a, a zero drug policy. They want nobody on the ships to have any kind of <laughs> drug involvement. But there are those who say they've heard it all before, and to that, Admiral Hayward has a simple warning. If you haven't believed that message up to this time, coming down through the chain of command, you'd better believe it now. We're going to get tough, and we're going to stamp out the abuse of drugs in our Navy fast. Some commanders, like those on the Nimitz, saw the handwriting on the wall and started the crackdown before the Chief of Naval Operations took to the airwaves. A lot of dogs, urinalysis test. Um, if you uh, make a mistake, they try to find whether it was pressure or the drugs bending your mind. And while the latest anti-drug campaign may not wipe out drug abuse in the fleet, there is one certainty among many sailors. There's no freedom of drugs. If you do drugs, eventually you will get caught. In Naples, Italy, Kathy Midkiff, The Daily News.